did you think Jarnail Singh Phindran Wale would kill you at some point? And again, for the context of our younger viewers, he was, of course, one of the most dreaded terrorists of his time, created ironically again by the Congress government of the time, by Indira Gandhi, and so on. You did some absolutely stellar work from the field on Punjab. When you, how many times did you meet Pindran Valley? I can't remember. Many times, many times. Did you ever think he would kill you? Um, you know, the last time I met him, I thought we were in danger mm. because Sandeep Shankar and I were up there, and I, you know, I've said this before. The story is a strange one. I came back from a dinner party, and I was wearing a mukesh ka dupatta and chamkila salwar kurta, and Cable Sahib was sure that there was going to be. Uh, Blue Star was happening the next day. So we literally didn't even have time. I didn't have a toothbrush. I bought it on the way there. And I was the only woman. He was having holding a, a, a meeting on the uh, langar, you know, in the Golden Temple on the top of the langar on the terrace. And suddenly he noticed me. I was clearly, I was not in, in, inconspicuous. And he sent for me. And he said in Punjabi, where he never spoke any other language. He said, Bibi Ethia calling mm. me right to the front. And the, everyone was armed. Everyone had machine guns and mm. whatever, automatic weapons. And he said, Tu hiena, just ne likhya si ke dhanu se khon te sharam an diye. I'd written a column. And why had you said that? I, when I first went there, I, I came back and I said, this is not the Sikhism that I was brought up with. Right. And I did a, a column, say, and that got translated into all the Punjabi papers, etc. And I, I thought, my God, I've had it. Because, you know, I mean, for a start, the, it was really on the verge of the, and the Golden Temple was completely <coughs> fortified at that point. And I, I got out of it by saying, And he said, I said, And then he got off, flounced off and went, went away. And Sandeep said, Hmm. And I said, ne So we waited for all these young men to go down. And then at the bottom of the stairs, when we walked down, Harminder Singh Sandhu, who was one of his lieutenants, said to me, he said, you're very lucky that you're a Jat Sikh woman. He said, we don't kill Jat Sikh women. Oh. At that point, they weren't killing Jat Sikh women. So I suppose I got saved for caste hmm. reasons. <laughs> When you saw uh, sort of the Amrit Pal story, who sort of molded himself, at least in a sartorial way, to be the next Pindran Wale, you said that you felt there were shadows of the past and the same mistakes might be made. Do you, do you feel that we understand everything with what happened? Who was this Amrit Pal Singh? Where did he come from? What was his story? He certainly ran a private militia. We have the pictures. He certainly surrounded himself with men who were armed with automatic guns. What did you make of that whole episode? Uh, I don't think he had any support on the ground. But, um, and, you know, uh, I'm actually very puzzled. You mm. know, I don't want to make allegations. But uh, I just hope that he wasn't put there by someone. Because, you know, it's very mysterious. They arrest his driver. They arrest everyone around him. And um, not him. And also what is very puzzling is, uh, as his father has gone on record to say, if they wanted to arrest him, they could have come here last night, he was here. Yeah. Why did they allow him to come out in a procession and all that sort of business? So, you know, there's something that we don't know about this story. And I'm very happy that Punjab hasn't exploded. But, uh, you know, was there someone in Delhi who stupidly thought that they could um, discredit the AAP government in Punjab? I don't know, but it's not good. Hmm. 